Bobby's going to say he can make an argument for all of the options. Yeah, That's not part of the rules. You have to pick which one you say has to go, and you have to live with whatever hole is that void in your life forever. That's the damn game. Stick to the rules. You go first, Bobby. I'll go first. Kill something off. Okay. Don't choke over there, okay? Uh, I'll be the one who does it. I'll take the bullet for, for you guys so you guys can pick the other two. I'll take... Hello and welcome again to another episode of One's Gotta Go here on the Notcast brought to you by NotClub33.com. This week, it's my turn to throw an option at the panel and they've got to decide which one's gotta go. Before I get to my question, which you guys already know at home, these guys don't know yet, Uh, you guys saw the thumbnail, I'll introduce who's here with me. I've got Becky Wells in the house. Hola. Pat Neistat is here. And Mr. Bobby Burchins, the Disney cynic. Guess who's back? Back again. Bobby's back. Tell your friends. (laughs) A modified Eminem this week. Yes. (laughs) I mean, I couldn't go with Slim Shady after last week. I mean, you know, again, not Slim, I'm not Shady. So, (laughs) so so Bobby's back again. You should have said Cynic's back. Damn it. Let's redo it. You know, never mind. Leave it in. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> you own it now, bro. <laughs> Who's All right, Bobby? guys. I know we've been doing four, but this week we're only going to do three things. And mm. you've got to pick what's got to go. So, Great. Galaxy's Edge. Pat's the World already. Showcase. <laughs> All four of the Disney mountains, Splash, Space, Everest, and Big Thunder as a package. One of those three things has to go. Okay. Not hard for Bobby. He's ready to just just dismantle one of those uh, those things completely. Oh, I can make an argument for all all three of them. So, you okay? Yeah. <laughs> We've been through this before <laughs> on the show. One about you can make go. an argument for all three. First of all, let's just <laughs> let's set the tables for the people that are first time viewers. Um, you pick which one has to go. You don't have to replace. Pat's going to try to re- have to say you have to replace it with something. That's not in the rules. <laughs> Bobby's going to say he can make an partner. argument for all of the options. Yeah, absolutely. That's not part of the rules. You have to pick which one you say has to go, and you have to live with whatever hole okay. is that, that void in your yeah. life forever. I That's the damn game. Go first. Stick to the rules. You go first, Bobby. I'll go first. Kill something off. First. Fuck. Okay. Don't choke over there, okay? Uh, I'll be the one who does it. I'll take the bullet for for you guys, so you guys can pick the other two. I'll take World Showcase on. Um, oh. Listen, Steve World Showcase right is great, ish. <laughs> Ish. What it's really great at is draining my fucking wallet every time that I go there because I have to drink around the world to actually enjoy myself. I mean, not nothing against the boat rides, the the two boat rides that there are right next to each other in Mexico and Norway. But come on, step up your game with more attractions. The, the other ninety percent of the fucking park is under construction. Why not build everything else out so that you actually have a ride there instead of a fucking Circle Vision movie? I'm just saying, like. Oh, yeah. No, I I can do without World Showcase. So, you know, let's let's have some real attractions for a change. All the World Showcase you just eliminated. Gone. Yeah, it saved me some money. And I, you know what, if I need to get my drink on, there's plenty of other places at Disney World. So, yeah, screw it. Wait, so then how do you get back to Beach and Yacht Club? I. We'll showcase oh it. wait, oh. yeah, yeah, wait, <laughs> wait. No, you know what? I'm so I take the Skyliner. I take the Skyliner from Hollywood no, you can't Studios. Get to it. You can't. Why? You go you... out. You go out the front of Epcot. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm sure right. there's a bus that'll go around the front at that point. Oh, That'd be well, a trail. It'd be like every That's other not Disney part guy. of the show. That'd be so a trail. So I'll, there'll be a trail. I'm a. I'm. I'm. I'm second, Bobby. Get get rid of the World Showcase. You know, unless they're gonna step up their game. I mean, you gotta buy. You buy. You pay one hundred fifty dollars to get into Epcot, and then they—the only thing really to do there is to spend money on food and drink. Mm-hmm. So, two weeks ago, you they, said it was one hundred forty. Like the price just keeps going. I don't up know. I don't know what the. I don't know what the tickets are. Every day. It is. All Assume I know, it's a lot like of money. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a lot of money to get into the park. Yeah. 
Okay, you know the the World Showcase has these dumb videos, these Circle Vision videos. They're all dumb. In China, that's dumb. France, dumb. Canada, dumb. They're all dumb, right? Mm-hmm. Put something no, in no, there that's most interesting. Of them, most of them don't even have actual attractions. They just have a restaurant, maybe two. Like, the, how is that an attraction? Like, yeah, if the only thing that your country is known for is food, and yeah, I get it's not like Italy is known for anything but, you know, pasta. Let, you know, let me tell you, they didn't conquer half the fucking world or something like that. They could have based an entire attraction. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, like, like do something more than, you know, that show us your, your native uh, foods and everything like that. Like, there's got to well, be don't more think out that there the, to the, culture. The facades that are out there and, the, and being able to walk in and immerse yourself in a little bit of the culture is like that's that is the attraction I no guess. i don't find that to be an attraction i find that to be like you know basic background setting <laughs> i just find that to I be mean, like frontier land or not yeah, to spoil know. it but i'm not gonna pick world showcase you mean what it is wine Be- becky oh, help me out here <laughs> <laughs> There's no Pick actual there. rivers of shit going through Epcot. But you're but. talking to the guy that likes the Grand uh, Floridian, so, I mean, mm-hmm. he he's not uncultured. Well, it's no, that I, Grand Floridian, that, that's those uncultured. Me, on the other hand. Have money. <laughs> me, on the other hand, you can yeah. say that. Galaxy's Edge. Peace. Oh. Yeah. That's just crazy. There you go. There you go, Steve. Piss well, off, Pat. That was very easy for you. Now, as you're... As you're I didn't say I that was simple. I just am trying to keep it concise. Uh, did your, did, I hope the door's closed tight. Because it... Or, I mean, your husband's going to see this. Because I know he probably wouldn't pick that. Well, I'll tell you. The only thing that did it for me was Everest. Because all of the other choices, Galaxy's Edge or the other three mountains, there's another copy somewhere else. Ah... Yeah. I see. Oh. Yeah. And uh, where, 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 bots would you find those copies, Becky? Depends on where you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tried to set her up for the Disneyland reference. And, and so great in sing California. <laughs> and she doesn't bite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> easy enough. Easy enough. Well, I'm on that shit list like forever no, now. No Live surprise to. To anyone here, what mine is, it's the same as Becky's. So it's uh, <laughs> it, it's two and two here. Um, I'm I'm just gonna. Yeah. Sorry, Galaxy's Edge. I mean, you're great. I like you, but we re- never really knew each other. So do we want to go like one more round so that we like have a tiebreaker? I, no, I will give you. We well, already narrowed no. down three. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, it's yeah, it's it, it was pretty narrow. I kept it pretty narrow. I mean, I could have thrown Pandora in there, um, just to make it a little bit more interesting. They but I, I just, too. yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I figured it would have just been more, mm. more. All right, this one is more targeted at Bobby, just because we got a little bit. <laughs> Bring it here. on. I, because I, Bobby's what? always the one trying to twist and turn and get us uh, a little bit. We actually on kept edge. it to one answer and no substitutions, and now we're going to... No, I got one for Well, Bobby. I mean, we got to have a longer yeah. video than 30 seconds, guys. I this mean, is so, just yeah. for Bobby. You guys can <laughs> weigh in if you'd Shoot. like. These rides all have pretty good drop sequences in them. Um, one is uh, Tower of Terror. One okay. is Splash Mountain. Okay. Another one is Rise of the Resistance, which also has a very cool drop. And mm-hmm. the other is Flight of Passage. Kill okay. one Splash of Mountain. Easy. Gone on. Mm-hmm. Splash Mountain. You, Hands down. You're going to kill Song right. of the South off like that. Yeah, absolutely. You're, I'm you're from gonna, Georgia. You're gonna kill like that. Somebody's dog Robert. is pissed. <laughs> yeah, it's Cooper. Uh, yeah, so you, you're yeah. killing the off, native Georgian dog over here is pissed. Yeah, and you're no, killing fuck, off song, fuck of the song of the South. Listen, I'm from like 30 minutes from where that that guy grew up and actually got like all the stories from from the slaves. So no, yeah. uh, no, I I don't appreciate that guy. The I've been piano. I've driven past that guy's house. Matter of fact, it's in a really shitty part of Atlanta. Just so you know, uh, no, it, like this the whole Brer Rabbit, Brer Bear, all all that kind of stuff. Like I never really understood the context of it because they don't release the fucking movie. Like the only thing that I knew out of it was Zippity Doo. So Have you, seen you know. It? 
No, I own it, but I, I haven't unwrapped it or anything like that. Yeah, true story. <laughs> Disney had like a very limited DVD release for yeah, like I... just this one shop in Savannah that sold a bunch of uh, stuff for the, the author of, of all those stories. And so I have a DVD copy of it, but I'm not going to watch it because, A, I don't have any interest in any of that stuff. But also, like like I said, it, it's, you know, th- there's a lot of checkered past history to it, and there's no context for it, uh, like, as a, uh, as a childhood yeah. favorite of mine, other than it being a fun drop. So, no, I'm good. I, I can do without Splash Mountain. Keep, I would love to keep Tower of Terror around. Okay. I know that's the one that you wanted to get rid of with Deadpool, so you know. Uh, wouldn't be that would not be my answer for this question. Does anybody else have a response? I, I'll tell you what I, mine is, but go for it. Mine's, my yeah, my, mine's pretty mine's simple. It's it's flight of passage. Like yeah. yeah, it's I like the ride. It's cool, but having to throw the goggles on there kind of takes something away from it if you're not centered. Um, so just the ride. Isn't this talking one that I would from a guy, from who, guy who loves his favorite ride? It's <laughs> sort of yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't have to wear goggles on that su- oh, on that sunbuck. And on Flight's Passage, you can't pick your seat, whereas I can wait one turn and go right into Soren. You know, and first off, Soren's not on the list, so <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> oh, you want to uh, do one? With- what, were, what were the other two? <laughs> not, we're not throwing what? on another one. Wait, yeah, I just uh, out. rise of the resistance. I'm and, gonna get rid of. Uh, I'll get rid of the Tower of Terror. What? Yeah. Oh. Because he knows he can go Mm-mm. to that same ride somewhere else. It's too good. No, it's it too good. Doesn't, no, it's There's not somewhere nothing else. better. Uh, it's honestly, good. like. I don't want to spoil anything. I'm pretty sure that my uh, one of the podcasts that reveals this will have been released by by this point. So I'll go ahead and like reveal it to you guys if you don't know it already. Uh, but there is a new uh, top attraction for me, and it's it's Tower of Terror. It absolutely 100 percent has has overtaken <clears throat> uh, Mission Why? Space. What has changed? So I actually finally rode Mission Space with the uh, with the uh, woman from Suits. Uh, now doing it instead of Lieutenant Dan. It's been a couple of years since yeah. I've seen it. Yeah. Not for nothing, like, you know, when they did shut it down uh, to do a refurb, like, I was expecting, like, you know, kind of the same thing, but it was literally line for line exactly the same. It, all of her delivery was exactly the same as Lieutenant Dan's. Like, there is absolutely no reason to update case. any of that stuff. <clears throat> That's the least of its problems. Yeah. Just they didn't even bother in. to update the screens. That's what I'm saying. Like when they oh. took the time to update it, I was expecting it to be updated to a, a freaking like, big back TV in there. Still, it's like you guys couldn't buy a 13 inch flat screen. Like, come on. Like so, <laughs> like because it's a missed opportunity, and because that ride has so much more potential. I know it has so much more potential. Um, like the whole immersive experience of Tower of Terror, absolutely is by far the best at Disney, with the exception of maybe Rise of the Resistance. Um, and, but that's got, you know, 30 years of catching up to do as far as I'm concerned for enjoyment, uh, before I can call that anywhere near my favorite ride. So yeah, it's Tower of Terror, hands down, is my favorite attraction now. At, at, at COVID Tower Disney of Terror World. doesn't even have the show with it though, so. No, it does but it, no, that, no, during the pandemic, it doesn't have the pre-show, but like when you yeah. uh, add in that element, like, like I've been in these boiler rooms, man. I'm telling you, they look. They it just smells exactly like that. It's oh, it's yeah. the perfect it's setting. Like that, but... We're not talking about pandemic, you know, versions of the show. We're talking about the actual sure. ride. And, well, yeah, we no, were I... talking about three and one's got to go, and we've added like seven. Okay, more well, what's go? Hell, what's going so... for you then, Becky? We'll yeah. close with what? you. What's what? What would you? Which one of the new four did he give you? You know. <laughs> oh, I said flight of passage, like. The same oh, you're, you're that's gone. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Easy. So there we go. Is there. Two've got to go. <laughs> <laughs> that's another episode of One's Got to Go here on the Two's Notcast. Two's got to go. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Because <laughs> we, had, yeah, we we did we gave you a two for this week. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Join us next Friday here on YouTube. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you on the next one.